watching Steph Handel TV and this is Ask Anything Wednesday. So today I have a question from Anisha. Now I hope I'm pronouncing your name right, but your question you wrote in to ask, you said, how do I control my cravings for sweets? I am so glad you asked this question, Venetia, because this is one of my favorite things to talk about. I think it's so interesting. Everyone thinks that a craving is just a weakness or something like that. It's not. A craving is your body's way of telling you it needs something. That's such a common misconception when we think it's just a weakness. Your body is extremely smart and anytime you have a craving or a headache or a irritation on your skin or something, that's your body trying to tell you something. It's very, very important to listen to that. So let's talk a little bit more about what the causes of the cravings may be. So, so there are four main things that I'd like to focus on, reasons that you might be getting sweet cravings. One is lack of sleep. If you didn't get enough sleep, your body's gonna naturally crave sweets or caffeine. It's gonna wanna keep it awake. It's very smart. It knows if you didn't get enough sleep that it wants to keep you awake and moving and going. But going for those sweet things is actually gonna do the opposite. It's going to cause you to get even more sleepy because then you're going to crash from it. Another reason is balance. Your body is always trying to maintain homeostasis, which is a balance of your blood sugar and a balance of everything. If it's out of balance, say you've had a lot of really salty things, it's going to go try and even it out with a lot of sweet things. So you might want to look if you're eating a lot of salty foods, that might be the reason that you're craving some sweet things. Another reason is candida. You might never have heard of candida before, but what it is, is an overgrowth of bad bacteria and yeast uh, in your gut, which is, sounds disgusting, but the funny thing is that most of us have that problem. We just don't even know it or don't even pay attention to it. So what this does is the candida itself, because it wants to live and grow and thrive, it craves sugar, and bread and things like that. That's what makes it grow, so it makes you crave it. So you might not even have a part in why you're craving these foods. That might be another key. If you're eating a typical American diet, then you probably have this candida problem. Your fourth one is emotion. Now I find this to be the biggest one with sweet cravings, and that is because a lot of us link this emotional, when we feel a certain way, when we feel upset about something, or um, we don't know what to do with ourselves, maybe we have extra time on our hands, then we go to food. It's this really strong emotional tie. And I want you to really look into this one because I think for most people, this is the case. And I also know a lot of times if somebody's really busy during the day, they'll have sweet cravings in the evenings because in the evenings, they don't have this structure. They kind of don't know what to do with themselves or they might not have anything fulfilling to do in the evening. So that's something you might wanna look into. So Venetia, here's the three things that you can do to curb those sweet cravings. Number one, find your trigger. So which one of these things is the reason why you're craving the sweets? The second thing that you can do is spend some time looking at how frequently you get these cravings and when. That's very important. And then the third and final thing to do is find the solution depending on which one of these things it may be. Either find a solution or find an expert. If it's lack of sleep or having a better balance, those are two things that you can fix on your own right away. If it's something a little bit deeper, like emotion or candida, you might want to go to an expert for that. I have programs that can help you through those things and the Fit and Fearless Pink program is specifically designed to get you through blocks and emotions. So I want you to go check that out too if that's something that you feel like you're struggling with and you need an extra hand. So that's my answer to your question, Venetia. I hope that was really helpful. So if you like this video and you think somebody else could benefit from it, share it with your friends. Also give me a thumbs up here and leave me a comment below on a question that you'd like to have answered. And you can also subscribe to my channel here too to get more videos like this every Wednesday. So thanks for watching and make sure you go after your big dreams. I'll see you next week.